What's the best approach for success on the MCAT? Well, first, we have to define our goal. Your goal is to take the MCAT once, do well enough, and move on with your life. So that's the goal. How do you go about it? Number one, you start by taking a cold practice test. This can be from any test prep company or even the AMC itself. You need to see where you stand and you need to see how many points you need to get to get to the kinds of medical schools you're looking for. That's step one. It'll be scary because your score probably won't be very good. That's okay. It's part of the commitment to growing and learning. Number two, you need to make a plan. You need to study at least 300 hours, 300 hours, probably over the course of about four to six months. That's anywhere from 10 to 20 hours per week, so you need room in your life to take the MCAT. But without that plan and without a scheduled weeks uh, where you have nothing going on, just to make sure that you don't, you're going to get sick, you're going to have to take vacation, you got to get these hours in somehow. Uh, without that plan, you're going to fall behind. Number three, you need to learn the content on the test. You can either get a bunch of books, which recommended, you need to get a bunch of books from whatever source that you most trust, uh, to study the material of the MCAT, the physics, the general chemistry, the psychology, the sociology. Uh, even going through the Khan Academy videos, those are very helpful in learning the content. This is probably where about 50 to 60% of your time will go, but this is only step one in your score improvement. So content is the next step. Step four, learn the strategy required to do well on on the test. So this is what you need to do here is take multiple practice tests and review every question you got wrong and every question you got right. So it's learning what to do when you're down to two answers, learning which passages give you the most trouble and how do you approach them the next time you take a practice test. That goes into strategy. And the final piece is accountability. You need to uh, take practice tests throughout your preparation to make sure that you are learning the things you most need to learn to keep going on the MCAT, to get you the most score improvement you can. Uh, a study buddy certainly doesn't hurt either. So if you're taking a prep class for the MCAT, that can provide some accountability as well. So can some tutoring. If you're doing it on your own, you've got to find someone to be able to hold your feet to the fire. If you do those five things, you will probably be able to knock the MCAT out of the park the first time you take it and move on to other parts of being pre-med. There's so much more that's worthwhile to do uh, in this world than study for the MCAT. So do your best and move on.